Hello guys, welcome to our channel. You are watching me from Sunrise 252. Please, if you are new to our channel, welcome and subscribe to get more useful videos. Share with your friends. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And if you like the video, please thumbs up. And also put on the notification in order to be notified whenever we upload a video. Thanks for watching the video. Okay guys, let us come back to our theory part. Here I have some short notes about motherboard. If I explain again, motherboard is also called as mainboard or system board, where most of the system components or parts of the system are usually connected to. It's a circuit board, integration of sockets, slots, ports, and also integration circuit. Motherboard types, there are different types of motherboard that we have here. The first one is AT motherboard, which has 12 pins. AT in full form is advanced technology. The second one is ATX motherboard with 20 pins. Therefore, the full form of ATX is advanced technology extended. The third one is BT motherboard. BT motherboard with, tw with 24 pins connector. The full form of BT is balanced technology. The fourth one is BTX motherboard with 26 pins, and the full form of BTX is balanced technology extended. And the fifth one is micro BTX motherboard with 26 pins connector. So, identification of motherboard. How can you identify a motherboard? So, simply, there are some few points here where you can identify a motherboard. First, as I have already explained, you can identify a motherboard either by socket type or slot type. So the first one is socket 7 used for Bentium 1 processor. The second one is slot 1 for Bentium 3 and uh, 2 slot processor. Socket 370 used for Bentium 3 socket processor. Socket 478 for Bentium 4 beam processor. Socket 775 for Bentium 4 dual core core 2 duo core 2 quad processor. If I proceed, the sixth one is socket 115 and 116 for core i3, core i5, and core i7. Therefore, there is a motherboard chipset. Motherboard has a chipset. What is this chipset? The chipset is the north bridge and the south bridge of the motherboard. Is called as a chipset. Therefore, North Bridge is the main controller of the motherboard. It's also used to control RAM, video, and the CPU. The second one is South Bridge. South Bridge is also called as input output controller, and simply it's used to control keyboard, mouse, USB, audio, LAN, HDD, and disk drive. Motherboard is of two types, socket type and the slot type. Socket type for socket type processor and the slot type for slot type processor. Basically, if a motherboard has a socket type processor, then it is called as socket type motherboard. And also, if a motherboard has slot type processor, then it is called as slot type motherboard. There are four types of mouses. So the first one is serial mouse, which has nine pins connector. Also, the second one is BS2, personal standard, which has six pins connector. And also USB, universal serial pass, which has four pins connector. Cordless or wireless mouse, which has four pins connector. Our videos today is about motherboard. What is motherboard? What is the use of motherboard? How many types of motherboards are there? The identification of a motherboard and also parts of the motherboard. Simply motherboard is also called as mainboard or system board where most of the parts are connected to it. Motherboard also it's a circuit board integrated of sockets, slots, 
and also integrated circuits. Motherboard comes in a variety of shapes, size, and it can be identified through socket and the slot number. Therefore, this is motherboard. You can see all parts of the system are connected here. I would like to explain each and every part of the motherboard bit by bit. And therefore, I will start with the BS2 mouse or keyboard. Here you can see two bots, BS2 mouse and the keyboard. BS2 mouse and the keyboard. At first one, the first one, this is BS2 mouse. It's of green color. It has six pins connector. It's used to connect mouse. Therefore, the second one, it's of blue color and it has six pins connector. It's used to connect the keyboard. This is serial port. It has nine pins. It's used to connect serial mouse or external modem. This is parallel port. It has 25 pins connector. It's used to connect all the model printer or scanner. This is VGA port. It's also called as display port. It has 15 pins connector used to connect monitor or projector. VGA full form is video graphics array or video graphics adapter. This is USB bot. USB full form is universal serial pass. This USB port it has four pins connector. It's used to connect USB devices like keyboard, mouse, printer, scanner, camera, joystick and flash. The next one is LAN port or Ethernet port. It's used to connect internet and network cable. This is audio ports these audio ports are also called as sound or multimedia ports they are used to connect speaker microphone and headphone in the other part here you can see bci slot the full form of bci slot is simply peripheral component interface this bci slots they are used to install extension cards if the functionality of these ports fails to work Therefore, you will take the extension cards and the insert here and it will automatically work. Next to the BCI, there is RGB slot. RGB full form, it's called Advanced Graphics Spot. It's used to install graphics card. Here you see, this is Follow Disk Drive Connector. It's used to install Follow Disk Drive Cable. And also, next to the lithium cell battery, there is IDE Connector. This IDE connector has 40 pins connector. IDE full form is integrated drive electronics. It's used to install HDD CD drive data cables. This is one of the main parts of the motherboard. This is called DDR memory slot. DDR is a dynamic RAM memory. DDR full form is double data rate. This is where the RAM memory is inserted. Also, the main part of the motherboard is CPU. This is the CPU socket. First, the motherboard is of two types. Socket type motherboard and a slot type motherboard. Socket type motherboard is the one which has socket type CPU. And also, the slot type motherboard is the one which has slot type CPU. And simply, we can identify that this motherboard is a socket type motherboard. And also, there is motherboard chipset. The north bridge and the south bridge of the motherboard is called a chipset. A north bridge is a main controller of the motherboard. It's used to control or manage RAM, video, and the CPU. Basically, the motherboard contains three main parts. The north bridge, south bridge, and also the CPU. This is the CPU. This is the north bridge. And here, this is the south bridge. South bridge, also called as input output controller, it's used to control keyboard, mouse, USB, LAN, audio, HDD, disk drive, and so on. Last but not least, the main things which gives the power into the system or the motherboard is the power connector. Here you see a 20 bin ATX power connector. Basically, there are different types of motherboard. So it has 20 pins power connector which gives power supply to the motherboard and also next to it there is microprocessor power connector 
it has four pins it gives power to the main cpu microprocessor thanks for watching the video if you like the video please thumbs up share and also if you have any idea any comment write in the comment below if you are new to our channel don't forget to subscribe don't also forget to share the video with your friends okay guys thank you very much for watching the video see you in the next video thank you very much